Jackson shows how to play ball in the NFL. He makes the catch and then works for more yards. That's the kind of player you get the ball to. Peter House. Sanders carries him for the third time and heads up field. Sanders is one of those prototypical backs. 5'11", 211. This running back comes with all the fixes. Now, number 97, Jackson back at the set. six. Here. Number 11 lobs this one a bit and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth and goal. Martinez managed to big loss. I don't know what happened to the protection. Well, there's his man on the finer points of coverage on this play. A nice catch, but also a nice move. A boost, but there's still a lot of game left. Number 26 is at the 50. Hunted down at the 47. First down. Number 26 puts on a show for the D here, and they can only watch. It was an entertaining juke. He definitely showed his agility on that three guys covering him. But look what happens. Incredible catch. A well-designed play there, Peter. And number 88 goes in motion. Number 26 gains eight yards. And we are in the backfield here. They'll try and pound it in. Number 26 has his number called on third down and gets the touchdown. This is a good call here, Dan. These short yardage plays are a lot harder than you think. But... Number 11. Had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. First down, oh, slippery a runner. Absolutely. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Number 86 catches the lob over the middle. Goes into a crowd here and by some miracle gets a completion out of it. I don't know how that happened, Dan. Let's have another look. Brilliant coverage work here, guarding against the corner. He derails the pass there, saving his team. Whoa, a lot of them. Watch here. Oh, that's perfect position. Boy, that was good. Jones lobs it to the left sideline, and it's intercepted. Pushed out at the 24. <laughs> Jones is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go, which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. He wishes he had that one back. Number 11 works this one to the end zone, and it's caught for the score. Yeah, I know. I'm the man. I'm the man. Yeah. That's a score. Sanders makes the catch with three defenders on his case. I just don't know why uh, the throw was made in the triple. Number 47 puts a lick on the receiver and separates him from the ball. Incomplete. Number 47 was in man coverage and played it pretty tight. Tight enough for the incompletion. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. That's second the down the coming second up. Quarter. And that'll do it for the first half of this one. The Eagles with a small lead, 17 to 14. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? All right, team. Interesting game at the half. We'll get back to you guys in a bit. First, we welcome everybody to our ESPN Halftime Report. I'm Chris Berman. The Giants, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. Jackson emerged as a real weapon as he pulled one in here. That set up an easy 24-yard field goal. The Eagles strike first and go up by three. Giants midway through the first. Jones is back. He's pretty much locked in on his wide receiver. He hits a 31-yard play that set up a giant touchdown. Eagles midway through the second. Eagles trailing by four. Ryan shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
Giants, still middle of the second, Taylor would come up with the big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. Giants out in front, 7-3. to three. Number 11 needed to be on target here, and he was. A six-yard touchdown for the Eagles. The Eagles take the lead again and go up by three. Giants late into the second quarter. The Giants have the ball at the 41. Number 15 was definitely a key as he was able to work his way open for a big one here. A 41-yard touchdown for the Giants. Eagles still late in the second quarter. Eagles down by four. Number 21 was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Giants on defense, Taylor, shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Giants winning 14 to 10. Number 11 would find his target on this one. An 18 yard play that set up an Eagle touchdown. And that's where we'll leave this one. Giants are down, but still in it, 17 to 14. And as far as my halftime hero, well, there's really no contest. Number 15 has been unstoppable. So that does. Jones throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Nice pass. Jones makes the pass and it's complete at the 24 by touchdown. Touchdown, Giants. No Number 15 is going to make the catch right there, but that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Number 86 makes the catch out to the left and is at the 40. Eventually tackled at the 24. First down. It's intercepted. Peters tackles him for a touchback. One. Knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly to give his receivers a few tips about it. All right, Dan, thank you. So this one is in the books as we welcome you all to our ESPN video game post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Giants stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Number 15 is going to come up with a big play here in the deep ball. Have a look. A 54-yard touchdown for the Giants. The Giants take their first lead in the half and go up by four. The Eagles already inside field goal range. Number 21 is reading the quarterback's eyes all the way as he's able to get his hands on this one and pick it off. The Giants, after getting an interception, Giants winning by four. Parks was in the right place at the right time, as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Eagles have it off an interception. Jackson came up with a huge play here, as they cover a lot of real estate on this one. A 64-yard touchdown for the Eagles. Eagles up 24 to 21. Number 86 is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. A 32-yard touchdown for the Giants. The Giants grab the lead again and go up by four. Number 11 connected with his man on this one. And that's where we'll leave this one. Giants edge out a win, 28-24. to Now let's check in with our player of the game, a guy who made one big-time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Number 15 was kind enough to give us a moment of his time, and he's on the field with Susie Calvert. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You gave an outstanding effort, and you edged them out in a hard-fought game. What do you think was vital to your team's success today? I really think our linebackers played well today. The reason plays, getting after the ball, man, look like a pack of wild dogs out there. They played big time today, so yeah, I gotta tip my cap to them. Chris, back to you. That concludes our presentation of the NFL preseason on ESPN, celebrating its 25th anniversary as the worldwide leader in sports. I'm Chris Berman. See you next time.